Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the Sugar Phone. A very different video for us here on the Clove channel. It's still a smartphone, but we've got to admit that this is one for the ladies out there. Sugar Phone is a new brand from French manufacturer Wico. A major uh, company, Sugar is a complete offshoot from that, and this phone is a fully-fledged Android phone made with Swarovski Pure Brilliance Crystals. So, you get an unboxing experience like no other. It's a big old box in comparison to the handset inside, and you will see why now. Let's open this up, take off the outer lid, and there we have presented the phone inside this crystal-looking presentation box. If we take this off, it is plastic, we are then presented with the handset itself. Now, it's mounted on this little plate. Let's take that off. Now, I must say we've opened this up and used it before. There's a little teaser. Spot the crystals around the edge. We'll come back to that in a moment. So we'll take out the rest of the packaging. We get a little bit of documentation to say that it's made with Swarovski Pure Brilliance. All of the crystals in this phone are hand set by master jewelers. We then have a set of in-ear headphones, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, white in color to match the phone. We get a set of replacement earbuds and of different sizes. We then have a crystal sort of inspired uh, SIM ejector tool. And then we have a USB to micro USB cable for charging and connecting to a computer. Now this is a sample that we've had sent over from the guys in France. So it comes with a two pin European adapter, USB port there for uh, connecting the cable to. If we then continue to remove the packaging, we're presented with the other part of the casing. We pull that out and we can delve right in here to an additional part of the packaging. And in here we get even more contents for you. So we've got a basic clip-on clear case to protect the handset. We have a screen protector for the back of the handset and a screen protector for the front with a cleaning cloth. And then we have a quick guide in a variety of languages to get you started. So, to the phone. We have the white version here. It's also available in black. Now, not that this should stop you men from using it, but this is designed for the female audience. Around the edge here, we have 129 Swarovski crystals hand set into the handset. They've been put in by master jewelers that have had over three and a half thousand hours of practice in hand setting the actual gems themselves. And if you can see it, there's even a little text on the SIM card slot here that sort of says that it's uh, made with Swarovski crystals, even the power button on the back you'll hopefully see it catching in the light. The Gorilla Glass 2 here on the back of the handset has got this sort of glass crystally texture which catches the light really nicely. Now, this is running uh, Android. It's Android version 4.2, so it's not bang up to date, but there's lots of customization to this software and even to the capacitive buttons here you'll see the faceted uh, look of the gems. These aren't diamonds, uh, but the whole software has kind of been customized to look the part and fit the design. Now, as well as being kind of stylish to look at, um, it's actually a really feature-rich handset. You're not being cheated by a sort of nice design. The feature spec on this handset is really good. So naturally, we've got um, 3G connectivity on this handset. 
you get uh, internal storage. There are different memory options available, uh, 16 or 32 gigabytes. We've got a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor in here. We've got a 1080p sharp HD display here with 441 pixels per inch, five inches in uh, size. So it's quite bright, quite vivid, uh, performs quite well uh, in our opinion. On the back here, we've got a 13 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture and a sapphire crystal lens. And then we've got a front facing camera, which is actually rated at eight megapixels as well. So front and back, uh, decent cameras. The front camera is rated so highly because uh, a lot of it is about the selfie. And uh, there's even a dressing glass here, which uses that front camera. So there you get lovely shot of us recording uh, this video for you. You get all of your Google services um, on here. So access to Google Play Store for downloading your favorite apps and things like that. Built in is a 2350 milliamp hour battery. Uh, there's no micro SD card slot or anything like that. The battery will give you up to 80 hours of standby time and 36 hours of usage. You can see here in the software that it's been heavily customized with this dual sort of effect and look. You can uh, change the themes. You don't have to actually stick with that. You can manage the settings to perhaps lose it, but it's really nice touch and really well thought uh, out in terms of all of that. If we then go uh, into the settings of this device, sort of general setup here, you've got access to quick settings and then all of the general settings. So you can see about the phone, schedule power on and off. You've got different gestures on here. So gestures to answer the phone, gestures to dial, gestures to take a picture. So it's not you know, short on features. You can add all of your um, different accounts as you would on a lot of Android handsets. We can see how much storage uh, we've got built in. So it's kind of split here. We've got 10.33 gig plus another 1.82. So somewhere in the region of 12 gig available because this is the 16 gig memory variant. You've got your uh, SIM management once the SIM card is inserted. You've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your data manager, different audio profiles. You can control the display. Uh, you can control this little light down here that pulses when you charge it. Change your font size. And I'm making a kind of a big play of this not being um, sort of just a cheap kind of knockoff. This is the real deal. And it's nice to see that the handset matches up to the premium finish of the device. It's quite a big handset. There's a lot of space down here, but I don't think it's overly big. It feels quite comfortable in the hand. The crystals um, around here are sort of not too sort of garish. Um, as even from a male perspective, I think it looks quite tasteful um, and feedback from females has been very positive. Now, would you pay a premium for this? Well, that's personal opinion. You do pay a slight premium for this. Whilst the price is still subject to change, we're looking around about £350 inclusive of VAT, which for a phone of this specification, I think is fairly fair. Um, you know, you might get something like this a little bit cheaper, maybe just under 300, maybe even 250 at a push. But I think for what you're getting, you know, the added edge, the style, it certainly stands out. This back cover really catches the light. Um, it's it's not overly priced at all. So we'll be carrying out a full review on this very soon. So be sure to uh, come back to our YouTube channel and check blog.clove.co.uk. And for more information on the handset itself and to pick one up yourself, head over to clove.co.uk. But until next time, thanks for watching.